In this specific video, you're going to learn how to capture traffic with WordPress exit pop-ups. Now imagine this. Somebody comes to your website and they like what they see, they like your content, and they exit and they leave. You are relying on them to come back to your site. And most likely they're going to forget about your site or maybe they'll remember it, but they won't remember how to get back to your site. The reason for exit pop-ups is whenever somebody clicks the exit button from your website on their internet browser, what happens is a pop-up comes about and says, hey, you know, grab this free report or grab this free something. Whatever you choose to do, you can do it. But the purpose of an exit pop-up is to capture the visitor's email address and information so that you can continue to follow up with them you can continue to build a relationship a community get them into your community and so forth we're at the WordPress dashboard and we're going to be using a specific plugin called the Pinoy pop-up on exit so if we go to plugins and click on add new and type in P-I-N-O-Y, Pinoy, pop-up on exit. Click on search plugins. And this is the plugin that we're going to be using. And this plugin will allow us to specify where we can redirect people when they click the exit button. And you'll want to go ahead and install this plugin. So simply click on install, enter your FTP username and password, and activate the plugin. I've already installed this specific plugin onto my site, as you can see here. Now, what I need to do is simply go to a post or a page. There are no configuration settings other than on a specific post or page. So in this case, I am going to go to the all posts section and under the hello world post, I'm going to click on the edit link, scroll down all the way to the bottom. And you will notice a window here that says pop up on exit options. There are two fields that you will need to enter the redirect URL and the alert box message. So anytime you click exit, the alert box message is what people are going to see. So you might want to say something like click stay on this page to grab this free report, to grab this free video and so forth. So let's say for example that our blog is about wedding planning. So if we type in wedding planning on a budget, 20 tips on wedding planning budget. And just a cool marketing trick is if you include numbers into your free reports, to your free videos and so forth, there will be higher, higher conversion rate because people are going to see a specific number versus a general report title. There's going to be a button called stay on this page. So you want to make sure that your call to action says click stay on this page to grab this free report or free video. And then the redirect URL up here. I recommend this to be a page on your actual WordPress site. I've tried entering Google and other things like that and that has not worked. So make sure you create a page on the same WordPress site that you're installing this on and make sure that page or post is private. That way people cannot see this free offer. So Let's go to the dashboard and you can either choose a post or a page. Let's say for example that I'm going to make this sample page into a report. I can just go through here and edit the sample page 
I can add a picture of a free report and perhaps a link to an opt-in page and enter the URL here. And what this is going to do is every time somebody exits your page, this specific post or page, then they're going to see this message. If they stay on the page, they're going to be redirected to this specific redirect URL. So once you're done with that, click on update and we can actually go ahead and test it. And I like this plugin specifically because since there are so many different posts and different pages, I can almost create different reports and segment my list if I want to do that. You don't have to do that. You can actually make it so that it shows up on the home page. So after that, I'm going to go to the live site here. And if I click the exit button on my browser, as you can see, this message came up. It says, Click stay on this page to grab this free report on 20 tips on wedding planning on a budget. Are you sure you want to leave this page? So the call to action includes this button here. So our goal is to get them to click this button here. So the key is if the person enjoyed your site and they're just exiting because they're exiting and they're offered a free report and they've already liked your content, then they're most likely going to click on stay on this page. And as you can see, they have been redirected to that specific page that we entered into the redirect URL form. So now you can see it in action. It's really not hard to set up, but it's definitely something you want to set up so that you can begin to build your list and keep in contact with the people that come to your website and start to grow that community.